for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys an unboxing or unwrapping of origami paper. And I thought I'd show you guys one more of this kind of cute new design of letter sets paper that is actually origami size, which basically means it's square, but it's also 15 by 15 centimeters. Um, and I've shown you a couple of different ones from different brands. Uh, the first one was Komoda and then... Um, I can't remember what the other one was. Uh, that one was a Korean brand. And this is another Japanese brand. It's Kyoa. And uh, it's, again, from that 100 yen store, Sadia, that sells a lot of things. Uh, it has lots of different varieties of things available. And this pattern just was so cute because it's on this nice craft paper. And, um, at, you know, it has a little bit of a different texture to it because of that uh, nice, fun texture. If you're doing gift wrapping up a gift. It could be really fun if you're using craft already to use something like this for your letters. So, uh, and there's even a little fold in here for how to fold a, a letter, which is cute. So, <laughs> um, but the uh, design, I don't know if you can see with the lighting here, but there's there's little lines in white, little polka dotted lines and little stars, and then the pattern itself is this cute orange and there's a couple of white stars on there, too, you can kind of see. Um, I do notice with this one just a little bit that there's a little fuzzy edge when I tear it off. You might, you might deal with that a little bit, depending on the kind of, you know, um, ink that was used for that binding there. But uh, just a really cute design and um, some fun things I think you could use it for, for sure. And it is craft paper, so it has a little bit more heavy of a weight, I think to it. Um, when you fold it up, it's going to be a little crisper. The design itself is really cute and it could be used in so many different ways. And I didn't see any other patterns by this particular series. The other ones had more than one pattern available um, and I might need to check at some other locations to see if I can find other patterns. But from what I could see, this was the only one Whereas the um, Korean brand one had like like three or four different variations of squirrels and birds and butterflies. And then the ones I showed you guys before with the uh, uh, Japanese style origami paper, like the Yuzen style papers pattern. So this was the only one that I saw of this um, that I recall, at my location at least. But of course, if you go to different locations, you can find probably different things available. Um, and I'll keep an eye open. Now this is not where the origami paper is. If you go into the store and you'll see a location in the craft area where origami paper is, that's not where this is. This is over in the stationery section. So you have to go over to where the stationery letter sets and the letter pads and envelopes are sold and then you'll find these there. Um, and I've shown reviews of some other things too, like the Disney stuff. Those are on the Disney aisle. So you got to kind of look around the store to make sure you get a chance to find all the different things. But this is such a cute paper and it has that neat crispness that craft paper has. I always really like using craft paper in general. So uh, just a fun, pretty design. And for 100 yen, I mean 108 yen with the tax rate, really a good deal and a fun kind of paper that you can use for writing letters and stuff. So um, I'll have some more fun things like this to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.